In MS project, understanding the types of resources is very critical for efficient project management. There are three primary types of resources in MS project, work resources, material resources, and cost resources. Work resources refer to people or machinery that perform tasks. For example, work resources are assigned by their availability and effort, meaning you can specify how many hours a work or a machine will work on a specific task. Material resources include physical items like construction materials or office supplies. They are assigned in units relevant to material itself, like the use of steel in terms of tons or the concrete in terms of cubic meter or any other material that includes in the project. Cost resources are generally assigned to tasks on a one-time basis and do not vary based on task duration. So effective resource management helps project manager to track costs, ensure optimal utilization, and manage workload distribution across a project's timeline. Now let's see how to create a resource sheet and assign the resources to your project. I have a sample project here and now I will create and assign resources to each activity. To assign resources, go to resource sheet from here. After opening it, you will see a clear and structured interface for adding and organizing resources. Here you can specify the resource name, type, maximum units or availability, cost rate and other details. For example, let's start adding resources after adding resources you will see the options like how many percentage you are assigning to these resources are so what does actually 100% means for example setting a maximum unit of 100% for a person means that they are available full time and if you will set at 50% it might represent part time availability we have another option, Acured Add. In MS project, Acured Add means that the cost associated with the resource is accumulated or charged to the project. This setting is essential for managing how costs are recognized in project's budget and cash flow, especially when we deal with the resources that incur cost over time. So, we will see a three primary options for Acure Debt in MS project. Start, prorated, and end. Start means that the cost will acute at the beginning of the task. It means that full cost of the resource is charged at the task start date, regardless of how long the task takes to complete. Prorated costs are acute continuously over the duration of the task. If you will set this setting, the cost is spread out evenly across the task timeline. It will accumulating day by day. This option is the default setting in MS project and it is typically used when resources or services charged by hour, day or other time unit. And end cost means that the cost is recognized at the end of task, which can help manage cash flow if you intend to pay for the resource only after the task is fully completed. So let's keep with the default setting prorated that is most commonly used. In a similar way, you can add other resources as well that are required for each activity to complete the project. After adding all the resources, go back to the Gantt chart and under the resource name column, you can assign the resource for each activity. You can assign single resource as well as multiple resource that will depend on the project requirement. Just like this, you can add all other resources for each activity. When you assign the resource to each activity, you will see that your resource will appear on the boards. It is showing that your resource is assigned to each activity. You can also see a over allocation of resources from the information task. You can use many techniques to level the resources.